Hi, I'm a guy doing stuff. This time I'm doing this stuff alone. But uh, today I'm gonna do part one of a secret room build. Do, 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 do. Go! So this is part one of the secret room build. This is going to become a guest room, playroom, secret room for the boys and their friends. So I'm going to build a couple of bookshelves here and then put a bench with a sliding wall so that they can hide in there. So this is part one of the series. We are building the bookshelves that will fit in here. These shelves were inspired by a project on jayscustomcreations.com. I put a link in the description below. Construction is just two by tens from the home center. I planed them down and ran them through the table saw to get rid of that round over edge. Now Jay used a stop dado for this, so did I. The dado is routed into the side of the bookcases to hold the shelves, so the shelves are permanent, they're not adjustable. And the dado doesn't go all the way to the front edge to create a cleaner line, so I had to cut a notch out of the front of the shelf. This way they'll meet up nicely at the front edge of the bookcase. You'll see what I mean when we glue it up. I clamped all the shelves together and hit them with the plane and the sander just to even things out. You know, while I was sanding, I realized I really need to clamp these pieces down or get some dogs in my workbench to keep everything from sliding. I clamped all the side supports together, and now since this is home center lumber, it isn't top choice. You can see the warp in some of them as I clamped it up. That'll become very apparent when I go to glue this up. See what I mean about clamps and dogs? <laughs> All right, so I've clamped the side pieces together and I'm marking out the spot for the stopped dados where the shelves will sit. Since they're together, I don't really have to follow the drawn lines and they'll still match up when it's time for assembly. Now I ran the first dado with my router kind of hands-free. I had a couple of stop blocks in place, but I wanted the channels to be uniform. So using the first one as a template, I made a jig to cut the rest. It made routing so much easier. See how I stopped about three quarters of an inch from the end of the frame to match up the notch in the shelves? Straighten it out with a chisel a little bit and... Bingo! She fits. Time for some glues and some screws. Now I had originally hoped to just use glue, but with the warp of the board I needed some extra clamping power, and since my clamps aren't long enough, I had to drive some screws. No big deal. Look how warped that is! But it straightened out nicely. Now this is actually the top of the bookcase. It was much easier to put in the last one after it had all been glued up since it's sitting in a rabbit, not a dado, but potato, potato. Now since these are gonna be kind of a structural part of a wall, I wanted to use plywood for the backs. I probably should have popped for some nicer pieces of plywood that weren't full of cracks, but I was also looking to keep my cost down on the project. After sanding, I clamped both the sheets of plywood together so I could cut the backs of both bookcases at once. A little glue, a few screws, and the back is on the bookcase. And boy, were these things getting heavy. Oh, look, the other guys came to help. Boy, you'd think I'd ask them for a kidney. But once I reminded them that the end product would be for them and not for me, and I wasn't asking for any other help, they decided to lend a hand and then quickly ran off before I asked for any more help. You know, truth be told, my father-in-law was cleaning out his garage and gave me an electric paint sprayer. 
Does it work? Well, I used it to paint my whole basement 30 years ago. That's where I should have stopped and said thanks, but no thanks. But I was willing to give it a shot. My plan was to spray paint these in half the time and effort it would take to roll and brush. I tested the sprayer the morning I was building these, and all it did was buzz. Wouldn't even spray water from the reservoir. I, I played with it and followed the instructions just long enough to realize it wasn't going to get any better. So I tossed it in the trash and resorted to the rollers and brushes. Little painter's caulk to soften the seams and cracks. A final sanding, one last coat of paint, and voila! Like I said, this is phase one of a secret room project. Next, we're going to put uh, a slider here so that it looks like a wall, but it hides the room. And then we're going to go inside and we're going to build bunk beds and hang shelves and make a desk and have it fun for the kids and their sleepovers. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, share, and or subscribe. And we'll have some more videos for you coming real soon. Oh, God. <laughs>